And I know that he, you know, my pastor has been trying to do that, which I have, you know, I don't want to put any pressure on him because I would do my work that I do there for nothing. I absolutely would a hundred percent. Um, and so, but doing what I do there is what I really want to do. Like that's, that's the stuff. That's where I want to be. That's what I want to be doing. Right. And so, um, yeah, <laughs> Ford, right. You gotta take them all because that's pretty much what it is. So, but the thing is, again, is, you know, for Rev and I to be doing what we're doing, you know, it's like we legit are, are attend, like we're working so many different jobs just to try to pull everything together. But how is it possible, especially, you know, when the church is looked at, you know, giving to the church that, that the church is evil and they're always mismanaging money and things like that. So it's, you know, people hesitate to give often, you know. Um, <laughs> man, yeah, five, we do, we have five girls, we have five kids. Um, and so it's, you know, it's just the reality of today. So we're trying to figure out how to make it work. And, um, so I'm just, I'm, I'm guessing, but it would just be kind of funny because I had an interview, um, on Monday actually. And so I probably will end up taking that job on that. I, um, that I interviewed for on Monday. Um, and if I do that, then I, I won't be able to be here doing this as well. It's certainly not at the same time. Like there would have to be some huge changes that will, that will come on Hector. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I know I would have to be, it would, I would have to change the time, but I even know coming on here at nine 30, I know some of the people in different time zones are like, you know, getting up even earlier. And that's, that's, that's intense. So I don't, I, I, I certainly do need to pray about it and figure it out. So, but there's nothing set in stone or anything like that. I just, um, just wanted to bring that, bring that ahead. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to, I'll pray for us, um, uh, while we're here, man, Paul, I know that you are, I think your situation is a bit more intense even than mine. Um, so man, I, I completely relate to what you're going through. It's hard. It is. Yeah. But Howard, you're so right. You're so right. God is able. And I know that, I know that when I came on here to do this, you know, I'm like, you know, Lord, just, just whatever you say, whatever you, whatever you have planned. And I will do this until you say it's time to not. And I'm okay with that. You know, whatever, whatever the case is, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, because I trust you, Lord, I trust you. And so I think, I think in the end, like we'll be able to, um, yeah, absolutely, Christina. Um, I think in the end, I'm, I know everything will work out. I don't believe that God built this community to just leave it. You know what I mean? I don't think that that's the case. So I'm sure there is a plan in there somewhere. So I'll be excited to tell you guys tomorrow when I jump on what the news was. So we'll see. I don't know. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. So, um, amen. Amen. Absolutely. Yeah, Aaron, for sure. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm, I'm going to pray us out today and then uh, I'll be back tomorrow. I'll be back on tomorrow. If I if I do start that other job, it won't be until like the second week of July. So it'll be after 4th of July and all that. So it's still still quite a few weeks away. So I'm sure we can come up with something in the meantime. OK, so let us pray. Lord, we just thank you so much for this day that you've given us today. God, thank you for the opportunity to be able to meet here together. I know that there are people in places where they're not even allowed to meet together without serious consequences, without crazy um, legal action that will be taken against them, people that will be disowned from their families, Lord Jesus. So I don't wanna take for granted our ability to be able to meet together right here right here together. Whenever we want, we have the freedom to do that. And God, we just thank you and we praise you so much for that and your goodness. Lord Jesus, I pray that as we continue on about our day today, that God, that you, we, you would help us search our heart, oh Lord, and show us those times in our life where we are being prideful. God, and those things that are getting in our way. Lord, I pray that we can just humble ourselves and give it all over to you, that we can continue to accept your leading and your guidance over our life. Lord Jesus. And I pray today in your powerful and your mighty name over each and every one of our friends, anyone here today who is seeking healing in their physical bodies, people who are seeking healing in their spiritual self, in their mental capacity, Lord Jesus, if they're seeking that closeness, that relationship with you, God, 
I pray over the people today who are seeking provision. God, we know that you are a God of provision. We know that you are able to do these things that we ask. Lord, we just praise your name. We give you all the glory for all of the things in our life. And God, I know that we are trusting you through our trials. We're trusting you through the highs and the lows, God. And we just love you so much. And God, I pray over our relationships, for our families, for our children, for our spouses. Lord Jesus, I pray and we lift them up today. God, I just thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I give you all the glory and all the honor. Jesus, in Jesus' powerful and mighty name today, amen, 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 amen. Hey, Kev, man, my friend, I'm glad you're here, though. I missed you a bit yesterday, so I'm glad to see you back. Yogi, good to see you. So blessings upon blessings upon blessings to all of you guys today. So as you were out and about, as you were on with your day, man, praise God, praise God. Just be sensitive to his leading and his guiding. And remember to keep the main thing, the main thing to love him and to love people because you may be the only experience, the only encounter that they have with Jesus today. 